There you go. Well, Global Industries is a design and manufacturing company for all grain storage, handling and conditioning equipment. We have four divisions. Three of them are in Nebraska. We are one of the world leading, leading companies in grain bin manufacturing and grain storage and handling equipment. We are doing a grain entrapment safety and prevention training. We have our own product engineers, safety coordinators and service technicians, as well as city fire department or firefighters here. We are trying to make sure that our our employees and also our emergency responders are trained and they understand the dangers related with grain entrapment and engulfment. The first part of the training was just basically go understand the dangers associated with grain entrapment or getting inside the grain bin and getting em em engulfed. And I think afternoon our instructors will show us a full demo and we'll do a live engulfment or an entrapment and we are trying to rescue somebody and see that how it's been done and also learn the techniques to help somebody entrapped inside the bin. I helped with the uh, grand entrapment training by being a volunteer entrapee into the, uh, the grain bin. <laughs> so I was rescued by my fellow employees Seaver and Tony. It was a little, it was a kind of a, a little bit of a panic attack. Uh, when you're inside the bin, you can really feel like the throbbing in the, your legs uh, from the blood trying to pump into it. And uh, so it was a little scary. I would say that if I was in a, a larger grain bin uh, trap, that it would be a, kind of a freak out moment, I guess you could say. Uh, a lot of our engineers work on job sites. Um, so I'm going to take away a lot of stuff we learned in the classroom. Uh, some of the knots, the ropes, the fire rest equipment, uh, and try to come up with a, a program for our engineers. Uh, so when they're out on the job sites, they know what to do, the right thing. Safety and Technical Rescue provides equipment, training, and response for many different industries. Water treatment plants, uh, the wind, energy, hydroelectric. Um, um, we do ethanol plants. Most a lot of um, either confined space or rescue from heights applications. A lot of incidents happen uh, through the corn belt. Uh, 2010 was the worst year. We had a fatality to one of these incidents on an average of one per week. So it, it happens quite often. It's usually um, a worker going in a bin to deal with an out of condition grain problem. So frozen, out of condition, crusted grain, uh, grain hung up on the side wall of a tank that resulted in an avalanche on a worker. Those are uh, most of the basic causes for the industrial side. For the farm side, it's uh, stoppage of the grain flow, um, product in the grain sump, and an individual enters the grain bin with a pipe or a rod and rods the sump hole without turning the unload auger off, and then becomes engulfed. We worked with some of the causes of grain engulfment, uh, ways of doing rescue, some basic rope rigging, safe bin entry, uh, retrieval of a victim in grain, uh, some other rope uh, basic rigging systems uh, to help an individual safely access to a green bar. Hopefully they'll take away a renewed interest in developing a culture of safety, doing some training for prevention so that individuals aren't getting themselves in the position where they need to be rescued. And then if that prevention component doesn't work, they'll have some of the basic tools to be able to work as a rescuer for grain engulfment.